Hey there guys, uh, Brian the Shaving Geek here and uh, today we have a mail call video. I wanted to do this quick video uh, and uh, show you some stuff that just arrived in the den. Um, I remember a couple of years ago we were calling these Brim Calls. Uh, you may remember that because Tom Brim loves mail calls so much. Uh, it's been a while since we've done that and I'm wondering should we bring it back? Uh, comment below and let me know what you think. But right now, uh, let me show you what just arrived. Thank you very much, Jeff Reidman. Um, he is the one that uh, sent this to me. This is a piff from him. And uh, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, I think it was last week, Ronnie Greer um, did a video on the IBC Chevette. And uh, Ronnie is someone who is a big proponent of Shavettes. In fact, he runs a Facebook group called Shavette World. Uh, and if you have any interest at all in Shavettes, I would recommend that you check it out. Um, a couple of years ago, Ronnie actually lent me his Dovo, or one of his Dovo Shavettes, which I used and I liked it, but it wasn't something that I, I would have to say that I loved. Um, and I, I use it several times and I sent it back to him and then when he used that IBC Shavette uh, last week um, my interest in Shavettes was um, peaked a little bit more or it was reestablished I guess um, as you know uh, my buddy um, Tim uh, borrowed a straight razor from me which he did his first ever traditional wet shave using that straight uh, found it a little bit tuggy and then when he used a DE that I also lent him he found that the DE worked a lot better and I'm wondering if that straight maybe isn't as shave ready as I thought it's something that somebody um, sent to me and I don't I, I think it might have been a part of that again that Rob Frank um, thing that I that I, I won or in that auction but but I don't remember um, anyhow when I got it I, I was told that it was shave ready I shave with it um, but all of that to say that I, I'm not a huge fan of straights and and the reason being is that I just have no interest whatsoever in um, putting or uh, trying to keep a blade uh, sharp that just doesn't interest me it frustrates me I don't even like trying to keep my, my knives are the worst uh, my kitchen knives are duller than dull. So, but but I like the, um, what do you want to say, the, the motion or the feel of, 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 a, of a straight razor shave. And so obviously a shavette um, does kind of give you that same feel, but without all the work. And so when Ronnie did that IBC, um, that IBC video, one of the things that he talked about was the heft of the IBC uh, and again that really again piqued my interest when it comes to shavettes because probably the thing that I didn't like the most about the Dovo was that it was so lightweight and it was really hard to let something that lightweight where it let the weight of it do the cutting uh, which is what I'm used to with the DE so anyhow I reached out to Ron and I said hey Ronnie um, you know I, I would love to know what your thoughts are after you get a couple of shaves on the IBC uh, what your your thoughts are uh, between that and the Dovo and also if someone were to go out and buy a Shavette what would you recommend if you were going to buy a Shavette and one Shavette only well he said um, you know he gave me a couple of options and then he said that uh, someone um, had a Shavette that they weren't using and were looking to to um, uh, Piffit and uh, so he sent my information to Jeff Reidman and Jeff sent me this beautiful bad boy here this crown king um, which already I can tell you I, I, I like from a heft perspective this is as hefty as uh, um, just about as hefty as my as my straight here on one of my other straights here that I have so um, this straight was was honed by um, Anthony Esposito has a nice edge on it but again just maintaining those edges is not something that I enjoy doing so I like the idea of the shavettes because you use the blade and then pitch it when you're done um, very nice heft to this I really really like it I like the way it feels in the hand and so 
Thank you, Jeff. I am definitely look forward, looking forward to using this. Um, I love the fact that uh, this is the model. I'm not, not that beggars, beggars can't be choosers, but uh, this happens to be the one where the crown king is etched right into it. So very happy about that. Um, and uh, so looking forward to giving this a whirl. And uh, I will probably do an on-screen shave or on-camera shave with this the first time I use it. Blood probably will be spilt, so you'll want to tune in for that. But that's not it. Jeff went above and beyond the Call of Duty, and instead of just piffing this to me, uh, he included some blades, uh, Wilkinson swords, which I don't know as I've ever tried them, actually. Uh, and so we'll give them a whirl um, and see what I think about those. And then he also included um, spiced autumn lager, gentlemen's aftershave balm, uh, from, is this Hazelette's uh, Apothecary? Or, uh, yeah, Apothecary. Apothecary, I guess is how you say that. I've never heard of this. I haven't even opened this up to smell it. I am going, you're going to see my expression live, well, not live, but recorded. I have not smelled this. No idea what spiced autumn lager smells like. So here we go. Ooh, that's nice. Definitely, I'm picking up some notes of maybe vanilla. I don't know. Definitely some spices there. Hmm, that's really nice. Let's get a little bit of this out here. Not very strong. Um, I've got some out on my hand here. And, ooh, that's nice. Woo. That's really nice. I like that. Man, that's nice. It, mm. you know, if you go into like those country stores and the smell of a country store, you know, they got all that. My wife likes the primitive stuff and, whew, that's nice. Um, that's what it, that's what it smells like um, to me. So great stuff, man. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, thank you for, for everything. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to um, getting some shaves on this, uh, seeing, uh, um, how this feels I, I already, like I said, I love the heft of this. Uh, and, uh, so we will do a, a video with this, uh, and we'll see how things go. Um, but until next time, Brian, the shaving geek reporting live from my shave den, wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves. Have a great day, everybody.